I have one fault in terms of uh, filmmaking is that I tend to be sometimes too ambitious and I think with Demons Rising we really set out to do something that most um, low budget independent filmmakers don't do and that's take on a rather large cast with a rather complex story and just go for it. In the final chapters of the Libra Malora, the foretells of the Mandriga, a being so powerful it could wipe out all enemies. In order for that to take place, a pregnant woman must read aloud the passages from the book. You are going to give me a baby right now, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. To begin with, the story was originally uh, proposed by Harlow Keith, who is the producer um, on most of my productions. And it just started out as a story of um, this book that has this really mysterious power and turns people into zombies. This rare antiquity is more than just a book. Some say the Liber Malorum has the power of life and death. You know, infamous people like Genghis Khan, Adolf Hitler, and Napoleon once possessed the book and it was taken from them. They lost their power, their conquests, and their lives. With each project, it gets better and better and better. The quality goes up. Um, you know, that we're actually getting full-length features done, that we're actually going out there and getting the distribution for them. They can actually go to the video store and pick it up and say, look, I was in this, you know. Where the hell do you think you're going? Who the hell are you? I'm the owner of this property. Who the hell are you? Look, lady, there's a lot of crazy shit gonna be happening, all right? I don't think you need to be here right now. You don't think I know what's going on, boy? Come on, man. You gotta let us through. Let you through? <laughs> Y'all are some dumb young fool. Don't you think I know when the dead are about to rise? You're some dead fuckers. Go on, get yourself killed. There were some wonderfully talented people on this film. Um, star of the movie E.J. Toxie was a kid uh, from Akron, Ohio, who sent me a demo tape. And when I first watched it, um, I don't know, there was a Brad Pitt, uh, Brad Pitt in his later work type quality, um, just really raw, really, or excuse me, transcendent. Um, and he has the it factor, which you know, is inexplicable. There's just an appeal to EJ on camera. And besides being a tremendous actor and totally dedicated to his work, um, just the best choice for the lead role. Sylvester Person uh, was the star of Code Black, our previous worldwide DVD release. Um, and Sylvester is like a son to me and, and Paula. And he is just phenomenal in the film. Um, when he comes on the screen, he has a charisma that is undeniable. People are drawn to him. Uh, when he speaks, people listen. So you mean she's trying to make the demons rise, right? Yeah, I think so. She's gonna have to be stopped. You know? right. Now I know this is gonna be hard. I know you're gonna have a problem with it, and I know it. There's no demons rising on my watch. Sylvester has become a worldwide known star of an actual film that was actually released around the world. Um, the great thing is he hasn't grown an ego. He's become more humble and more understanding of the acting process. And as a professional, he's he's grown as well because he's gotten into producing and writing and everything else. Goddamn, y'all. You wanna see me? All you do is make an appointment. But turn that shit off. Thea, my man. Your brother Matthias sent us. We got some business to discuss. You down, dog? My brother? How you know my brother? He was our partner and our friend. Now he sent us here for the book. So we can talk and we can die. 